Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time by over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. Welcome back to Pharmacology in Practice, where we explore the real world applications of medication in nursing care. Today, we'll be focusing on a crucial class of drugs used in critical care settings. The drug class is vasopressors. We'll discuss their mechanism of action and provide patient scenarios to perfectly illustrate their use and nursing applications. So what are vasopressors? Well, vasopressors are potent medications used to raise the blood pressure in patients with dangerously low blood pressure, that hypotension. They simply work by constricting blood vessels, kind of like squeezing a toothpaste bottle, to increase vascular resistance and improving the pumping ability of the heart. That's why I say vasopressors press on the blood vessels to increase the blood pressure. Vasopressors are commonly used in emergency situations, such as septic shock, cardiogenic shock, and during surgical procedures. So simply remember, shock is severely low blood pressure. That's why we give vasopressors to press on the veins and bring that blood pressure up. And commonly used vasopressors include, number one, norepinephrine, brand name Levofed, number two, dopamine, also dobutamine, epinephrine, and vasopressin, which is commonly used in diabetes insipidus, DI, where we diurese all this fluid from the body and into the body, and now have low blood pressure. So that's why we give vasopressin to press up that blood pressure. Now let's consider the case study of Anthony, a 65-year-old patient admitted to the ICU, the intensive care unit, with severe septic shock. Anthony's blood pressure has dropped to dangerously low levels, compromising his organ perfusion, and putting him at risk for life-threatening complications, such as death. Now, to manage this condition, the critical care team has initiated vasopressor therapy with norepinephrine, a potent alpha-adrenergic agonist. As the nurse caring for Anthony, it's crucial to monitor his response to the medication very closely. You'll need to assess his blood pressure frequently, ensuring that he reaches the target range set by the HCP. Additionally, we need to monitor for potential side effects, such as arrhythmias, those crazy heart rhythms, tissue ischemia, fancy words for low oxygenation to the tissues, and decreased urinary output, which all can occur due to the vasoconstriction of the blood vessels. That's why we need careful titration, Fancy words for careful changes of the norepinephrine dose, this is essential, as too high of a dose can lead to excessive vasoconstriction and even organ damage, while too low of a dose may fail to adequately raise the blood pressure. So, when caring for patients receiving vasopressor therapy, nurses play a crucial role in ensuring safe administration and monitoring for these potential complications. First, it's essential to have clear understanding of the patient's hemodynamic status and specific goals of the vasopressor therapy. We must do regular assessments of vital signs, urine output, and perfusion indicators, such as capillary refill time and skin temperature. You as the nurse should be vigilant for signs of tissue ischemia and necrosis, which can occur due to that vasoconstriction caused by vasopressors. Frequent monitoring of the infusion site and rotating the site as needed can help prevent these complications. Additionally, nurses should be prepared to manage potential side effects, such as arrhythmias, hypertension, and decreased cardiac output. So with cardiac output, simply think all that blood coming out of the heart with cardiac output. We need to make sure that cardiac output maintains high. Having emergency medications and resuscitation equipment readily available is crucial. Now, effective communication with the healthcare team is also essential, as dose adjustments or transitions to alternative vasopressors may be necessary based on the patient response and clinical status. So, in this episode, we explored the vital role of vasopressors in the clinical setting and also discussed a patient scenario involving their use. By understanding the mechanism of action and monitoring the parameters and potential complications, associated with these potent medications, nurses can provide comprehensive and safe care to patients in life-threatening conditions. So don't be scared, be prepared. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.